Bonnetburn. But it's, um, it's a bit dark. It's under the Uncle Jack fan club. They don't like you very much. Why? We have a sort of disagreement about whether Uncle Jack's a very fine, funny fellow or a rotten, murdering, collaborationist traitor. So that's why you smash all the televisions. Roger! Manners! Have you got an escape plan for after you talk to the executive committee? Why would I need an escape plan? I'm just going to tell the executive committee what's going on in the village. They're not going to shoot the messenger, are they? Then I'll just go back to my... Home in the train station. How would I escape, anyway? Oh, I know. The parade float. It'd be ridiculous, Roger. What are you talking about? The Uncle Jack fan club. They bring a giant balloon to the Battle of Flowers parade every year. It's enormous. It's supposed to be his head. Well, that could carry you away to... Well, wherever the winds take you. I suppose if I'm in the club anyway, I might as well grab the float. If nothing else, no one will have to look at Jack's head floating across the village on May Day. You will need quite a lot of helium to fill it. Oh, I'll jump off that bridge when I get to it. Look, empty hydrogen tanks. What am I going to do with empty ones? The label, DSIR, the Department of Scientific and Industrial Research. What well, you know, in all quite labs. In the parade? 
You think we can get the deposit back? They must have full ones there. Oh, what did I ever do to deserve you, Margaret? All oh, right. I've got a map of the tunnel into the parade. Seems like I need to get in through the Jacobean Club. God, I hate Uncle Jack. You will take your joy in me. You're awfully good at this. you are. See you at the pub.
careful. You know how there's all that joy gas in there? It's going to make you throw up. You better wear a gas mask. You know what joy does to you. The Uncle Jack Fan Club. I suppose they can't remember what he did during the war. What did he do? Voice of the Occupation Authority on the radio. Let's see if they've forgotten me. <clears throat> Hello? It's Ollie Starkey. You're not getting in this time. I think they remember you. I suppose I'm not going in the front way. I bet we can still sneak in back. You can't go in. It's a private club. Toffs and wankers only. Then who are you? I'm the fucking cook, ain't I? Don't look at me like that. A girl's got to eat. Look, why don't you just fuck off? You ain't got any honest business in here. From the looks of you, you ain't got any honest business anywhere. <sighs> Bunch of daft twats. I think you can go in now. Take the job, she says. You'll never have to suck another cock, she says. 